Stray bullets hit a family's home in Johnson County. It sounded like a machine gun, like a movie scene. Like, un unlike anything else I've ever heard in my lifetime. A little girl nearly shot while riding in her parents' car. Before you have a firearm and shoot a firearm, you need to know where that bullet's going to land. Another bullet crashes through a family's skylight. Families and authorities agree someone's going to get hurt. But we've got to do something to stop this. Recreational gun use in an incorporated area of Johnson County is putting families, just like the word ones you heard from, in danger. But authorities say their hands are tied. I team reporter Jessica McMaster explains the law that prevents gun owners from being held accountable when their bullets leave their property. And what can be done to change that? Stillwell, a community at the crossroads of suburban and country life. Katie and Matthew Key's kids play, learn, and sleep. It's their home. It was it was like warfare. I mean, it was nonstop for four hours of semi-automatic gunfire. Just the peace and security the Keys moved here for now gone. It makes me sick. It makes me sick, and I have laid awake at night so many hours, more than I can count, thinking about how different my life would look today had one of my children or my husband or all of the above been taken from me because of someone's recreational activities on a Sunday. According to records obtained by the I-Team, the shots were fired from just a third of a mile away. College kids aimed their guns in the Keys' direction, using a brush pile as a backstop that day, unaware of where their bullets landed. For more than a year, the Keys have pushed for new legislation after four bullets hit their house located in a subdivision half a mile from an elementary school. I can't name one person that thinks it's a good idea to fire a semi-automatic weapon in the direction of a home from a third of a mile away. Here's a map of Johnson County where the gun rules vary depending on where you live. Here in Stillwell, where the Keys live in an unincorporated area of Johnson County, it's legal to fire a weapon even though it's a populated area. But a little over a mile up the street and incorporated Overland Park, it would be illegal to fire a weapon. And it doesn't make sense that people, you know, literally a mile and a half down the street that are in incorporated Overland Park have more rights to safety than we do here in Stillwell. The shooting began on a Sunday afternoon. It disrupted everything that was going on where everybody was actually, you know, are they are they going to hit us? If you walk the Keys property, you can see just how close the bullets came to striking tragedy. And I'm right here, went through the wall, shattered the picture, ricocheted out of the car. Just... If you were standing here, this would have killed you. Oh, it's literally, yeah, both of us, right at head height. So, came in right, right here. This bullet blew through the wall of their kids' playroom, ricocheting off Matt's architectural license, landing just inches from where their kids sit. This marks from that bullet. Yeah, that's from the bullet. And so um, I realized the bullet's here somewhere because it didn't go into the wall. The, the bullet literally ricocheted and landed right here. Just feet from where they sit? Just feet, yep. As gunfire persists, yep. neighbors right. are still fearful today. Yes, there is a field, but this is not the country. Ashley Hubert lives next door to the Keys. It's sad, you know, our kids come in like we're like, sorry, the guns are going off. How does that affect them? When you say, I'm sorry, you have to come inside, the guns are shooting. Before the Keys knew their house was hit, Katie and Matt placed a call for help, but because of the law, nothing could be done. Our hands are tied. Johnson County Sheriff Calvin Hayden says authorities would have to prove the shooters were intentionally reckless. By shooting into the brush pile, no charges will be filed. They thought what they were doing was safe. It didn't turn out that way. So you see, you know, this column, uh -huh. this column. And then you see the white right up at the top. The problem expands beyond the Keys family. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office has received 33 complaints about reckless shooting in the past year. You need to know where that bullet's going to land. I mean, this was a 9 millimeter gun. Just last year, Jamie Lingner was driving near AGC Glass on North Webster Street when a bullet went through her SUV. It landed just behind her daughter, who happened to be leaning forward. We feel blessed, fortunate that... 
This could have went very differently yesterday. In Lingner's case, charges are pending. Hayden, bound to uphold the law, says he too was frustrated by the lack of accountability in other cases. It's ridiculous that in this day and age in Johnson County, Kansas, that we can't have children safe in their own playground, playroom. It's just it's unacceptable. In May, Representative Joe Alahoy introduced legislation that would ban recreational firearm use within two miles of a school in unincorporated areas of Johnson County. But that could take years before it gets passed. The Keys want something done locally. And now. On any other day, any other person could have been out in their backyard firing a gun, missed their target or their insubstantial backstop, and hit someone on the playground at recess. That is a problem. Do we have time to wait? I don't think so, and that's why we've got our legal minds uh, working on this. Good girl. While the Keys wait for the law to protect girl, them ready? like it does their neighboring communities, they ready? want gun owners to take responsibility for how and where they shoot. One day to you, one bullet to you, one trigger finger pull to you can end my child's life. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is a big deal. When we sat down with Sheriff Hayden, he told us he hopes to have a resolution to this by the end of summer. For the I-Team, I'm Jessica McMaster, KSHB 41 News.